Hello and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to play another game from the um, Los Angeles Dodgers Philadelphia Phillies 1970 NLCS. Um, this is going to be for Los, Angel uh, Los Angeles Game 3. And uh, it's going to be Steve Car no, Carlton on the hill for the Phillies against Don Sutton. And the Dodgers, if they win today, um, will sweep the Phillies and go on to face the Yankees in the World Series as what happened in real life. So, the Phillies are obviously trying to stop that, and in real life, they actually were able to extend it to four games, in which the Dodgers won game four, and it did advance to the, uh, to the um, World Series. So, all right, so let's get ourselves set up here. Opening up baseball reference, so we have everything to look at here. And without further ado, let's get this game underway. Welcome, Welcome to the stadium. stadium. Today, Today is a ball game. game. Alrighty, so Don Sutton is on the hill for the Dodgers. He had a record of 15 and 11 in 1978 with 3.55 earned on average, 238 innings pitched, 228 hits allowed, 54 walks and 154 strikeouts, and 29 home runs allowed. So he definitely was susceptible to the long ball. Um, yeah, for some reason, they are not showing the stats for the of the season. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, <laughs> where they didn't last game. Um, but anyway, not a big deal. So, um, for the Phillies, it's going to be Bake McBride leading it off and playing right field. Batting second is the shortstop, Larry Boa. Batting third and playing center field, Gary Maddox. Greg Glazinski, the bull, is going to be left field batting cleanup. Richie Hebner, the first baseman, bats fifth. Mike Schmidt, we a third baseman, batting sixth. Tim McCarver gets a start. Batting uh, seventh, Ted Sizemore, the second baseman, bats eighth, and Steve Car Carlton on the hill will bat ninth. For the Dodgers behind Sutton, it's going to be Baker, North, and Smith. Baker and Smith average range, or North above average range. Um, Smith with the best arm in right. Baker with an above average arm in left, and North average in center. The infield, as usual, is Say, Russell, Lopes, and Garvey. Right side of the infield, great range with Lopes and Garvey. Uh, Say and Russell, average range. And uh, Russell commits quite a few errors at shortstop, and Garvey being the more shorthanded at first base. Jaeger behind the plate, excellent all around, with uh, excellent range and a excellent arm. Sutton on the hill is average range with... Uh, below average at holding runners on, uh, but extremely short-handed when he does get to the ball. So, all right. So, Bake McBride, 269, hitter in 78 with four homers, 10 runs batted in. Mr. Brody's getting ready for the game here. Get ready to co-host. Moving his buddies around there. So, Mr. Brody just celebrated his 12th birthday on uh, two days ago on the November 2nd. So, happy um, related birthday to Mr. Barodi, part of his birthday weekend. All right, so Sutton looks in for the sign from Jaeger. Like uh, <laughs> <laughs> All righty, I don't know where that's coming from, but we'll have to check that out. Hold on. 
Alrighty, it looks like it's going to be a... Hmm. No. There we go. Alright, it's going to be on the sixth column of Sutton. And that's going to be a ground ball to Lopes. It's going to be a range check. Lopes with excellent range. We'll get to it. Over to Garvey. And that's how we'll begin. So the Phillies need to win today, obviously, to stay alive. Larry Boa up now. Boa, 294. Hit it with three homers, 43 runs batted in. Say and Garvey playing in on the grass, as he did for Lopes. And that's going to be a ground ball at the first. Garvey will take it himself to Harper for out number two. That will bring up the center fielder, Gary Maddox. 288 hitter with 11 homers, 68 runs batted in. Wind up in the pitch. Ground ball to Russell at short. Fires a bullet over to Garvey, and the Phillies will go in order in the first. So the Dodger lineup against Steve Carlton. Actually, let's go Steve Carlton stats first. Steve Carlton was 16 and 13 and 78 with a 2.84 earned run average. 247 innings pitched, 228 hits allowed, 63 walks with 161 strikeouts, and surrendered 30 home runs. So also so susceptible to the home run ball. The lineup against him for the Dodgers is going to be Davey Lopes, the second baseman. He'll be followed by Bill North in center field. A little bit different look to the Dodger lineup today. Reggie Smith, the right fielder, will bat third, followed by Steve Garvey, the first baseman. We'll bat cleanup. Ron Say is your third baseman batting fifth, followed by Dusty Baker, the left fielder. Bill Russell at short bats seventh, coming down from the second spot. Steve Yeager behind the plate bats eighth, and Don Sutton on the hill will bat ninth. So Lopes hit 278 with 17 homers, 58 runs batted in. And I don't know why I said Lopes for the... Uh, the Phillies there batting first. It was Bake McBride. Anyway. So here's the windup in the pitch to Lopes. It's going to be off the two column. And Lopes will be on with a leadoff walk. So Bill North, a longtime Oakland A, up to the plate now. Hit just 234 with 10 runs batted in for the Dodgers in 78. And it's going to be off the four column as Hebner is holding on Lopes. Oh, and just misses as Schmidt takes the liner out of air, thin air. And Lopes will hold, dives back to first. So one on and one down for Reggie Smith. Reggie Smith has homered at least twice, I believe twice in the last game. 295 hitter with 29 homers, 93 runs bet in for the season. Lopes takes his lead. Carlton holding him on. It's going to be off the four column. And that's going to be a fly ball to left. Lozinski below average range. Oh, and this one's going to get past him, go all the way to the wall. Lopes will score easily, and Smith will end up at third with an RBI triple. So that'll put the Dodgers on top, one nothing. much to the delight of the hometown fans looking for the sweep. So Steve Garvey up now, 316 hitter with 21 homers, 113 runs batted in. Another one off the four column. That's going to be a range check on Schmidt. Very sure-handed, he gets to it. Oh, and he's going to boot it, allowing the run to come home, so that will be an unearned run. So no RBI for Garvey, and Garvey will make it to second on the two-base error by Mike Schmidt. So the Dodgers on top now, 2-0. So say up to the plate now. Carlton looks in for the sign from McGarver, looks back at the runner, kicks and delivers. Oh, and he's going to get a pitch to hit here. And say gets all of this one to opposite field. And that one is going to be gone for a two-run homer. So the Dodgers 
pouring it on early here. Already four to nothing. We're not even done the first yet. Off, off the ace, Steve Carlton. So Baker up to the plate now. Baker 262, 11 homer, 66 runs bat in. And grounds it to Schmidt. Snares it easily over to first for out number two. That'll bring up the shortstop, Bill Russell, 286 header with three homers and 46 runs bat in. And that'll be a base hit past Boa. So Russell on with a two out base knock. And that'll bring up Steve Yeager, the light hitting catcher, 193 with four homers, 23 runs bat in. And looks like Russell's going to go for a stolen base here. And he'll be gunned down by McCarver. But damage is done as the Los Angeles Dodgers take a 4 0 lead after one. So set with a four run lead. It'll be Lazinski, Hebner, and Schmidt if anybody gets on McCarver. The bull hit 265 with 35 homers, 101 runs batted in. Off the three column. And swing and a miss for strike three. So one down now for Richie Hebner. Hebner 283 with 17 homers, 71 runs batted in. Off the five column. And that'll be a base hit. So the Phillies with their first base hit of the day. Brings up Mike Schmidt, 251 with 21 homers, 78 runs batted in. Off the five column. And that'll be a walk. So move Hebner into scoring position. So runners on first and second with one down for the veteran Tim McCarver. McCarver, 247 with a homer and 14 runs batted in. Trying to get into that Dodger lead. It's going to be off the four column of Sutton. And that's going to be a liner to Garvey. Snares it. And Schmidt just dives by. Dives back for out number two. So then we have the second baseman, Ted Sizemore. 219 header for the season with 25 runs batted in. Trying to extend the inning. Off the five column. And that's going to be a base hit past the dive of Garvey. Hebner will come around and score. Schmidt will make his way to third, and the Phillies are on the board on the RBI single by Sizemore. So they'll put runners at the corners for Steve Carlin. Steve Carlin, an excellent hitting pitcher, hit 291 in 86 at bats with 13 runs batted in. So Carlin trying to cut into the lead further. Here's the pitch by Sutton. That's a ground ball to Lopes. Over to Garvey, and that'll do it. So Philadelphia gets one on the RBI single by Ted Sizemore, and it's four to one after one and a half. So Jaeger to lead it off after the caught stealing by McCarver of Bill Russell. Not the six column. And that's gonna be a base hit. So Jaeger on with a leadoff single here in the second. Then we'll bring up the pitcher Sutton, and Sutton will very poor hitting pitcher 083 and 72 at bat, so he will be called upon to bunt. And he lays one down. Carver looks at second, passes, and gets the short at first. So, so Jaeger in scoring position now with one down. Brings up Lopes, who walked in his first at bat. And he strikes out swing for out number two. First K of the day for Carlton. So Bill Northup now. He lined out in his first at bat. And he's going to line one to Schmidt. Over to back to second. And they double him up. So it's a bang bang play. Gets the double play. And after two full, remains a three-run Dodger lead. So McBride up now. McBride grounded out in his first at bat. That's a fly ball to right. Range check on Smith. Smith average range. He'll just get to it. Oh, but he won't be able to hang on to it. And he drops it. 
So I don't put McBride on with a on second with nobody out. So one error apiece for each team. So it'll be a Boa. Boa grounded out in his first at bat. Ground ball back to Sutton. Looks the runner back and fires the first for out number one. So Matt accepts on the plate now, grounded out his first at bat. And he'll draw the one out walk, so he'll put runners on first and second and bring the tying run to the plate. Greg Luzinski, he had 35 long balls in 1978, so he could tie it up with one swing of the bat. Sutton, Jaeger out to talk to Sutton, goes back behind the plate, looks in for the sign, looks at the runners, kicks and delivers. And it looks like he was being careful as Luzinski would draw the walk to load the bases with one down. So Richie Hebner with an opportunity here. Single in his first at bat. Here's the pitch by Sutton. It's going to be a ground ball to the Garvey at first. And he'll take the only play he has over to first. One run will score. So Hebner gets an RBI ground out. Scoring, scoring um, the runner. So I put runners on second and third with two down. So Schmidt with a single could tie the game. He walked in his first at bat. He's a wind up in the pitch, and Schmidt's going to get one to hit here. Oh, but he's going to ground it to say. So many opportunities there, but Philly's picking away at the lead. Get another one, and it's 4 2 now as we head to the bottom of the third. So, Reggie Smith, who had an RBI triple in his first at bat, comes to the plate. He'll lead it off for the Dodgers here in the third. He'll ground this one to Boa. Fields it cleanly over to first. We're out number one. Garvey up now, reached on a two base error by Schmidt. And that's going to be a base hit just past the dive of Sizemore. So one out base runner for the Dodgers brings up Ron Say, who had a two-run homer his first of the postseason. And Garvey's going to try to steal. And again, McGarver throws out the runner. So McGarver comes out firing and throws out his second batter runner of the game. McCarver has a below average arm, but is able to execute the second time today. So I'll empty the bases with two down for Say. And he'll draw the two out walk. Second walk of the day by Carlin. Then we have Dusty Baker. Baker grounded out in his first at bat. Say trying to get a lead. Carlin holding him closely. And they're gonna call Carlton. They're gonna charge Carlton with a walk, with a balk. So that'll move Say into scoring position with two down. Here's the pitch to Baker, and he gets one hit here. And this one's gonna go a long way. That's gonna go all the way to the fence. And Baker will be at second with an RBI double. So Bill Russell up now. And Carlton is now called for his second balk. Unbelievable. Not often you see two balks in the same inning. Two balks in the same game, let alone two balks in the same inning. So Baker will move to third now. With Russell up to the plate. Single in his first at bat. This will be a ground ball back to Carlton over to Hebner. And that will do it. But the Dodgers get back a run, and it's 5-2 to two Los Angeles as we head to the fourth. So McCarver up to the plate now, lined out in his first step bat. He's thrown out two runners already today. Grounds this one to Lopes. Scoops it up and fires the first for the out. So Ted Sizemore up now, had an RBI single his first time up. Grounds this one to Say at third. Throw a short. Garvey scoops it on a hop. Throw out number two. So 
Let's see Crowley out to the plate now. Grounded out in his first at bat. Carlin's going to give this one a ride. That one's going to go into the gap. North and Smith trying to get to it. North gets it, and, but not before Carlin ends up second with, an, with a double. So Carlin helping his own cause. Then we got Bake McGride, who's 0 for 2, did reach on an error by the right fielder Smith his first time up. Pops this one up to Lopes. We'll make the catch to end the inning. So after three and a half, the Phillies trail by three. It'll be Jaeger in the pitch, pitcher spot and Lopes up for the Dodgers. I imagine they'll leave Sutton in to hit. And a sing, Jaeger single his first time up, draws the walk this time. Hmm. I think we're gonna have we're gonna have him bunt again. Lays it down. No chance to get the runner at second. Over to first. And Sutton will beat out the throw by McCarver. And he'll reach. So it'll put runners on first and second with nobody out for Davy Lopes. I think we're going to have Lopes bunt also. Yep, we are. So Lopes is going to be called upon the bunt. Fielded by Hebner, throw to first, and gets him. So runners move up, second and third now with just one down for North. He's lined out, lined out twice today. And this is a fly ball to center. He'll get to it and make the catch. Let's see if Jaeger is going to try to tag here. And he tags up and scores easily. So North gets himself a sacrifice fly. RBI, and it's 6-2 now, LA. So Smith up now. Smith one for two with a triple back in the first, RBI triple. And that's going to be a base hit. Got to throw for that lead runner. And... Carver Poor blocking the plate, and the runner is safe. And that is going to be it for Steve Carlton. As he's now given up seven runs. Or at least allowed seven runs. I don't think, I'm not sure if all of them were earned. But that is going to be it for Carlton. As he goes. Three and three and two thirds innings. So a short start for Carlin here in this deciding game here. And let's see who we gonna bring in. Bunch of righties coming up. Um Uh, now they, sh they show the stats and everything down here, which is kind of funny. But they do not show it in the uh, other part, which is interesting. Um, let's see. And what's also strange is that they, they're they adding to the uh, to this season stats, too. They're not co considering this to be, uh, to be uh, postseason. All right, so we're going to bring in... Guess we can bring in Reed. He's there. He's there closer though. We don't really want to bring him him yet. I guess we'll bring in Brewster. So Brewster in now. He'll face Garvey with a runner on first. That responsibility of Carlton. And he tries to keep Smith close. Garvey one for two today with a single. Also reached on an error. And Garvey's going to get himself a base hit. 
throw for the lead runner. And both runners are going to move up. So say up now. Say homered and walked. Hmm. And that's going to be a ground ball to Boa. Boa, excellent range. Gets to it. And makes the play to end the inning. But L.A. tacks on two more. And it's a 7-2 game now as we head to the fifth. So Dodgers fans celebrating. So Bo up now. He's grounded out twice today against Sutton. And that's going to be hit back to the pitcher. Over to first and gets him for out number one. So Maddox up now. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. Grounds this one to Russell at short. Long throw to Garvey's. Off the mark, but Garvey swipes him with the tag for out number two. So Lazinski up now. Struck, struck out in the second and walked in the third. And that's going to be a ground ball to first. Garvey will make get to it. And take it to the bag himself. For out number one. Out number three, sorry. So halfway through, the Dodgers lead by five. Trying to punch their ticket to the 1978 World Series against the Yankees. So Baker up now. Baker one for two with a double, RBI double. And that's going to be hit to Sizemore. Range check, he'll get to it. Long throw to first. Deep in the grass. We're out number one. So Russell up now. Russell one for two with a single. Grounds it to his counterpart. Two bounce to Boa over to first for out number two. So two up and two down for the Dodgers here in the fifth. Brings up Steve Yeager. And he'll line out to Boa to end the inning. So the Dodgers go quietly in the fifth and we'll head to the sixth with the Dodgers up by a score of seven to two. So Sutton with 77 pitches through five. He'll come out to start the sixth. You know, Hebner one for two with a, with a single. Also knocked in a run. Draws the leadoff walk. Phillies definitely need base runners. Mike Schmidt up now. 0 for 1 with a walk. Pops this one up to first. Garvey calls for it and makes the grab. The first out of the of the sixth. So Brant McCarver is 0 for 2 on the day. And he'll strike out. So that'll bring up Sizemore. Sizemore had an RBI single back in the second. One for two. Gets a pitch to hit here. And lines it right to Russell who makes the grab. Die as Hebner was off with two outs. And that will end the inning. So bottom at home half of the six. The Dodgers up by five. Brewster back out there for another inning of work. And Sutton will strike out for out number one. So bring up Lopes. Lopes 0 for 2 with a walk. Flies one to center. Maddox under it. Off to a race is now. It's, it's such a drift on him. He dives and makes the catch. So a nice catch by Maddox for out number two. Bill North out now. Up now, he's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice fly back in the fourth. Flies this one to right. McBride camps under it. And that'll do it. So we head to the seventh. We'll just score the Dodgers 7 and the Phillies 2. And that will be it for Brewster. He will be lifted for a pinch hitter.
It's the roadie with the itches. All right, Jerry Martin up now. Let's see. Yeah, we'll bring him in. He'll be called on the pinch hit for Brewster. So Brewster's day is done. So Martin, 271 hitter with nine homers, 36 runs batted in. We'll lead it off for the Phillies here on the top of the seventh. Need to start pecking away here as they're down by five. And that's going to be a liner to say. So one down. McBride up now, 0 for 3 on the day. Did reach on an error back in the third. And he strikes out swinging. As Sutton continues to cruise along, he's only given up two runs on three hits. So Larry Bower up now. He's grounded up three times so far today. Finally gets one to hit here. And lines a single. Pass Lopes. North comes over and plays it on a hop. So two a base runner for the Phillies. Brings up Maddox. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. And back to back two out hits here. Uh, and he's gonna be gonna hold him down by five. So first and second with two down for the bowl. He's been quiet today. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. Pops this one up to Garvey to end the inning. So the Phillies unable to get any closer and are still down by five. And we finally got a question here for the seventh inning stretch. They've come out bad uh, in the last two games, but this one goes through as Mr. Barodi is able to deliver one here. So who was the nation last National League player to win a Triple Crown? Hmm. Last National League player to win a Triple Crown. Was that Stan Musil? Or is there one after that? I can't seem to think. I'm just going to go with Stan Musil. Let's see what the trivia question is. Joe Medwick. So Joe Medwick of St. Louis had the right team, just the wrong player. So Joe Medwick, the last person to win the National League Triple Crown in 1937. So, all right, so who are we going to bring in to pitch now? Uh, let's see. I'm not sure who's coming up. We definitely need to try to keep this one close. I guess we'll bring in Eastwick. So, Raleigh Eastwick is going to come in. Well, you don't like you don't you don't want to bring in Eastwick. Mr. Brody's saying that the Phillies' time is running out there. They better get going. Mr. Brody, give me some advice here for managing the Phillies. All right, Reggie Smith, two for three with a triple, two runs batted in. Eastwick looks in for the side. Eastwick, four oh two earned run average, two and one record. As you saw, probably saw his other stats for the season. Um, and that's going to be a fly ball to center. Maddox camps under it and makes the catch. So Steve Garvey up now. Garvey reached on an error in the first and had two singles after that. Two for three officially. Pops this one up to short. Bo is there to calls for it and makes the catch. So two gone in the Philly 7th. Sorry, in the Los Angeles 7th. Ron Say up now. Say homered back in the 1st. Walked in the 3rd. And grounded out in the 4th. Gets one to hit here though. And that is going to go to the warning track and bounce off the wall. So Say is on with a 2 out double. Eastwick trying to keep this a 2 run game. A 3 run. A 5 run game, sorry. Baker up to the plate now. It's one for three with an RBI double back in the third. Draws the walk. So that'll bring up Bill Russell, one for three. 
Gets one to hit here. Hits this one a long way. Luzinski on his horse and makes the catch. So, attendance here, 49,727 here at Dodger Stadium. So we'll head to the eighth. Time running out for the Phillies on their possibly on their season. They need a big rally here. Sutton back on for inning number eight. Sutton up to 112 pitches. It's likely to be his last inning. There is action in the Dodger bullpen. It looks like Lance Rotson and Charlie Huff are loosening up. So heading up to the plate now. He's one for two with an RBI. Gets one to hit here. And Hebner gives this one a ride. That one is nobody's going to catch that one. And Richie Hebner with a leadoff home run to start the eighth. So it's in 7-3 game now. So Mike Schmidt up to the plate now. 0 for 2 with a walk. That's going to be a ground ball to Lopes. He gets to it. Nice play by Lopes to get to that one. Fires a bullet over to Garvey for out number one. And McCarver will be lifted for a pinch hitter. Oops. So Bob Boone will come in to hit for McCarver. So Boone played in the first two games of the, of the series. Mr. Brody is in here. Trying to give me some advice here. Okay, thanks for the advice, Mr. Brody. So Boone up to the plate now. 283 hitter of the season. 12 homer, 62 runs batted in. Gets a hold of one here, and this one is carrying a ways. Just shy, bounces hot off the wall. And Boone gets a pinch hit double. So it looks like Tommy Lasorda is going to come up, and that is going to be it for Sutton. And the fans give him a loud round of applause here as he leaves. Let's see here. And Charlie Huff is going to come in. Charlie Huff trying to come in and get the last five outs of the game. So Sizemore up to the plate now. Sizemore one for three with an RBI single back in the second. Grounds this one to Lopes. Range check. He'll get to it. Bobbles it a little bit, but comes up with it. Over to Garvey as Boone moves to third. But now with two down. So Eastwick will be lifted. Oops. Will be lifted for a pinch hitter. And let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Looks like we're going to bring in Jose Cardinal is going to come in the pinch hit. Cardinal 249, four homers and 33 runs batted in. Trying to get the Phillies a little closer here. One run already in on the home run by Hebner. Here is the pitch to Cardinal. And he will draw the walk. So put runners at the corners for Bake McBride. He was 0 for 4 with a run scored. And McBride gets a pitch to hit here. McBride's going to give this one a ride past the dive of Lopes. I 
I think they're going to cut it off. So I'm going to I'm going to send the Road Runner. And they do. So another run in for the Phillies. Now a 7-4 game. Runners at the corners for Larry Boa. He singled his last time up one for four. And Boa gets a pitch to hit here. And Boa is going to give this one a ride over the head of North. Carnell will come around the score. McBride is being waved around. And we're going to hold the trailing runner. And McBride will score. So it's now a one-run game as the Phillies have scored four runs here. And that is going to be it for Charlie Huff, who is totally in a, uh, ineffective here. As does not record an out. And he'll be lifted. Actually, I can't lift him. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, they're managed by the computer. I can't lift them. All right. I thought I just... No, I guess I didn't. Los Angeles managed by the computer. Yeah, okay. So I cannot take them out. So Maddox up to the plate now. Representing the tying run. I mean, um, the go-ahead run. Maddox one for three with a walk. And he strikes out to end the inning, but damage done as the Phillies score four, and it's now just a one-run game as we head to the bottom of the eighth. And who are we going to bring in to try to keep this a one-run game? We're going to go with Tug McGraw. Tug McGraw comes in now. Bob Boone will place McGarver behind the plate. So McGraw in there now. McGraw 8 and 7 with 9 saves, 3.20 earn run average, 90 innings pitched, 62 hits allowed, 23 walks, 63 strikeouts, and his 106 homers. He'll face Jaeger, the pitcher's spot. And then Lopes. Pitch to Jaeger. And that's going to be a base hit. So Charlie Huff up now. I imagine he'll be lifted for a pinch hitter. I don't know why they're letting Huff hit. And he strikes out. Wait a second. Why would Huff be even in there? Oh, because they didn't replace him. Hold on here. Why aren't they? Los Angeles is being ma managed by the computer. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I think I did put in Charlie Huff before. Why are they? Oh, maybe because I overrode it. So I am going to undo this. Yes. So why? Still, though. Why is the computer not able to pick it? All right, well, let's see if I can replace him. That's strange. All right, I know they would definitely lift him for a pinch hitter. Let's see. Joe Ferguson, maybe? Joe Ferguson is not available. Pedro Guerrero? No, he only had eight at-bats. Okay, so Levin Martinez. Who's better against Manny Moda? There we go, Manny Moda. They were probably bringing him. So I don't know why they're allowing me to do this. If the uh, compete, maybe because it's a uh, 
Yeah, Los Angeles should be ma be managed by the computer. Hmm. Don't understand that. Anyway, so Manny Mota, 303 and 33 at-bats. And he'll strike out. That'll bring up Davey Lopes. Actually, Yeager would be... Uh, while I'm managing now, I might as well replace him with a... That's strange. I don't know why the, the computer is not making these decisions. All right, let's get some speed in there now. I don't think he's got any speed, does he? 1 to 13, that's not bad. You lacy? Uh, I don't, uh, he might need him for a pinch hitter. How about Rick Monday? No. Cabrera? Oh, there we go. Rudy Law is going to come in and be a pitch runner for Jaeger. All right, well, I'm going to have him try to steal now then. We're going to try to throw for him. And he's going to be gunned down. Great throw by Boone. So it doesn't matter who's behind the plate for the Phillies. They're going to gun him down. Now two down though for Lopes. And that's going to be a fly ball to center. Maddox is there to make the catch, so we'll head to the ninth. Phillies needing at least a run to keep this game going, and their hopes alive for the postseason. Oh, now they replace him. <laughs> oh, kind of strange turn of events here, but oh well. So Bobby Castillo in there now. Castillo 0-4 with a 3.97 earner average, one save, 34 inning pitched. 28 hits allowed, 33 walks, 30 strikeouts, and two homers. He'll face Luzinski, Hebner, and Schmidt. If anybody gets on, or if the Phillies um, will, will be, it'll be Boone. So the Phillies trying to come down from as down as many as five. Now down by just a run. Luzinski could tie it with one, one swing of the bat. Luzinski is 0 for 4 on the day, 0 for 3 in the day with a walk. Too calm. And he's going to get hit by a pitch. So Luzinski's going to reach. Luzinski, a very slow runner, but, ah, oh, man. We got to take him out because. Got it, because we got to get speed on the base paths here. He represents the tying run. On to 13. All right here, I'll sign up. One to twelve. Cruz. Twelve. Get in. No. Gonzalez. No. Pete Mackinnon. Ooh, Pat Mackinnon might be our best bet here. Mackinnon one to fourteen. Lonnie Smith might be there too. Ooh, Lonnie Smith one to seventeen. So Lonnie Smith is gonna come on. And pinch run. All right, so Smith with a lot of speed on the base paths there. Richie Hebner up now. Hebner not much of a bunter, I don't think. He has a B bunter, though. Oh, boy. What's he hit and run? Let's see. Hmm. I think Hebner's got a bunt. He's homeward today, but... Corners are playing, and we gotta have Hebner bunt. We get Schmidt and Boone coming up. Yeah, we gotta. So Hebner's gonna lay one down here and try to get Smith in scoring position. Lays it down, bunts it. Quick little glance at the lead runner, field the back of Steele over to first. So tying run in scoring position now for Mike Schmidt. Schmidt 0 for 3 with a walk. Castillo looks in for the sign from Oates. Oates now behind the plate for the Dodgers. Johnny Oates. Here's the windup and the pitch. Smith tries to get a lead. And he'll walk Schmidt. So the 
go ahead run now on first. Brings up Bob Boone with one down runners on first and second. Boone doubled in his first at bat. Steele looks in for the sign from Oates. Looks back at the runner Smith. Kicks and delivers. And that's oh, that's gonna be it though. Terry Forster is the closer is gonna come in now. Forster five and four with twenty two saves, one point nine four earner on average, sixty five innings pitch, fifty six hits allowed, twenty three walks, forty six strikeouts, and has surrendered two home runs. So here's the wind up in the pitch. And that's gonna be a ground ball to Russell over to Lopes one, back to first. And the Los Angeles Dodgers defeat the Philadelphia Phillies with a tying run in scoring position by a score of 7-6. to six. So the Phillies come back late and give the Dodgers a scare there, but are unable to get that seventh run. And the Los Angeles Dodgers will advance to the World Series by defeating the Philadelphia Phillies. Three games to none. So the Dodger, the Phillies' valiant comeback is stopped short by Forster. And he'll pick up the save. So Sutton gets the win. Seven and one third innings pitch. Seven hits allowed. Four runs. Three of them earned. Four walks and three strikeouts allowed a home run. Charlie Huff came in and pitched two thirds of an inning. Allowed two hits, two runs. Both of them earned. One walk and one strikeout. Castillo gets the whole pitch of the third of an inning, walking a batter. And Terry Forster with the save pitches two thirds of an inning. Only threw two pitches to get that one out, that double play. So Steve Carlin gets the loss. Three and two thirds innings, eight hits, eight hits allowed, seven runs, six of them earned, three walks and a strikeout. Very ineffective for the uh, Hall of Famer Carlin. Brewster pitches two and a third innings, allowing a relief, keeping it close, allowing just one hit, so X striking out a batter. Eastwick with one inning pitch, allowing one hit, one one walk. McGraw pitched a scoreless inning, allowing a hit and striking out a batter. So the Philly, Phillies bullpen kept it close, allowing the Phillies to come back, but just did not have enough at the end. So for the Dodgers, Davey Lopes 0 for 3 with a run scored. Bill North was 0 for 3 with an RBI, sacrifice fly. Reggie Smith again had a good day, 2 for 4 with a run scored and two runs batted in. Steve Garvey, 2 for 4 with a run scored. Ron Say, 2 for 3 with two runs scored and two runs batted in. Dusty Baker, 1 for 3 with an RBI. DeVillo came in to play left field. Bill Russell, the shortstop, 1 for 4. Steve Yeager was two for three with a run scored. Law came in as a pinch runner. Not getting that bad. Johnny Oates, defensive replacement. Don Sutton was one for two with a run scored. Charlie Huff did not get in that bad. Manny Mota, his pinch hitter, was 0 for 1. Castillo was, did not get, get an official at bat and neither did Forster. For the Phillies, Bake McBride, two, one for five with two runs scored in RBI. Larry Boa, two for five with a two two runs batted in. Maddox, Greg Maddox, and Gary Gary Maddox, one for four. Greg Greg Lozinski was held in check, zero for three with a walk. Actually, one for zero for three with two walks, I think. Richie Hebner, two for three with a solo home run, two runs batted in, two runs scored. Schmidt was zero for three, as was McCarver. I believe McCarver did walk once. Boone came in as a pinch hitter. One for two with a run scored. Sizemore one for four with, a, with an RBI. Carlton one for two. Brewster did not get in that bat. Jerry Martin was 0 for one as a pinch hitter. Eastwick did not get in that bat. And Jose Carnell, I believe, walked in his only at bat as a pinch hitter. And came around the score. McGraw did not get in that bat. So player of the game. Ah. 
I guess we got to give it to Don Sutton. Yeah, I guess we give it to Don Sutton. Cases could be made for Ron Say and Reggie Smith, but I think the uh, NLCS player of the the MVP is going to be Reggie Smith, who I know homered at least twice in the series, I think twice in the same game, I think in game two. And uh, he was able to get a triple in this game. So that is it. So the Los Angeles Dodgers, like the New York Yankees, sweep their opponent and will advance to the World Series. So we'll be back soon, in the next couple of days probably, sometime later this week with the 1978 World Series with the New York Yankees taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers as it happened in real life. And uh, I will be managing the Los Angeles Dodgers just because we're playing the Yankees and I cannot play the Yankees. <laughs> so Mr. Brody, on his birthday weekend, wishes everybody a happy Sunday. God bless. Take care. And we will see you in the next World Series video. 1978 World Series. I believe it's from, let me check here. I think we're starting in New York, but I'm not sure. Give me a second and we'll check that out. All right, hold on. Cannot get to, to get to it for some reason. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back with the 1970 World Series. So take care and God bless. Bye bye now.